I want to do um, a review of a product that I bought. Um, and I'll link where you, you can get it below. And the reason why I want to do that is because I think it's something that can help someone who is unfocused. So we talked about a little bit on one of my YouTubes about mental health. And so everyone knows who knows me that focus is something I have trouble with. And whether it's because of PTSD, anxiety, depression, or just something I have along with everything else. It's just something I have to keep moving. And if I don't do this planning on a daily basis, I get lost. So I'm going to talk quickly about it. This is the Happy Planner. It has pockets for receipts, different things that you need throughout your day. And then it goes into um, your month. You have birthdays you have to remember. Now I'm going to tell you Facebook. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of all my birthdays. Otherwise, I'd be so lost. Not because I don't care, because I have to. And I'm going to go into a month. We have, it has two years worth. It'll give you to do it by month, which is handy to do your dailies. Gives you by day to kind of hone down on appointments. And then again, when you get to the very end, it starts again with, hey, how about those birthdays? This month, special events, um, important dates. Oh, first day of school. I have a lot of youth to work with. They like going to college. Ah, so nice. And then, in the back, we have notes, pages for notes. Um, this uh, graph paper, which I find really helpful. So I've done some um, some um, dream planning. I really want to go to the Panama Canal. I have all these notes that I can write down and things I have to do. And so I'm going to tell you how the only way I know that I can keep organized in an unorganized brain because that's what I have. I go into my month planner and in the morning, I write down the things that I know that um, add to the things that I know I have to do. And then what I'm going to do is as I do them, I'm just going to check them off. And i got to tell you, when you have like, uh, I think you at least have six things you're going to do in the day. And you check them off, you feel really good about it. And my, my daughter hates this expression, she said. But I call it chop wood, carry water. And it's, it's a zen thing. If you have problems, and I'm putting it down here, if you have problems staying on task because of depression and anxiety, if you remember you do one foot, just one foot in front of the other, and sometimes that's all you can do in a day, that's what you do, and you check it off. I was able to do that. If you have things like autoimmune stuff where you have fibromyalgia, and there are days you just can't even get out of your own way, just these different things, again, check off one thing. I did one thing, no matter what happened, one thing. Then you go through and you go on to your day and you say in the morning, so this morning, some of the things I needed to do was I needed to watch all my stuff on my YouTube because I follow certain people who are positive influences in my life. Um, think media. Um, video influencers. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it wrong. These guys are great. I'm gonna link them all below because you know what? You can't get enough positives when you're doing the things that you're doing. Oh, Mr. Traveler, Sea Cruisers. Um, just have to give all my shout out of my people that I really, really, really enjoy watching. But the ones that I'm, I'm watching right now is video influencers. Um, these guys are great. They just talk about what happens in video and YouTube, how to grow things, how to make things work. 
And what's the importance of giving information? Because we all know information. People need information. Um, and then I also watch I Love Trading. And in that one, it's, it's I Love, L-U-V, Trading. Okay, this guy just, he comes on and he does a lot of things about, hey, if you're doing YouTube and you just want to start and you need simplistic things or you just want to do reviews, that's how I do them. And then he does a few and he gives things away and it's kind of cool. So I watch all those guys and I comment on the ones I want to. And then if I find another one I want to do, I go ahead and upload that. And so that I already did today. And okay, if you're having trouble focusing, write down, I have to have my coffee. Check. Another thing you got done feed dogs and I'm telling you just just those basic things so at the end of the day you can look at this and go okay it was a rough day today it was a rough day but I did it now the month if you have things that you need to do and you're struggling write down the day that you need to do it I need to have my group done by the 17th, which means I gotta make my calls tomorrow to set up my date coming this coming week to put in two hours that I can run group or even one hour just to get us going. And they need to put that down. So I'm gonna put it down on the day where it had to be done by that day so that it gives me time to look and think of what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna be fancy. It's not gonna be all the ideas for the group going to be the day, the time. Then every morning in my to-do list, I'm going to have ideas. That's when I'm going to brainstorm and just take a little time in the morning. You know, I was trying to do this at night because I'm a late night person, but I get calls. People want to talk to me. I don't get it done. So now I got to have to go to bed early. Hope nobody calls me trying to get a play. Oh, it all works. But anyway, this planner, this planner makes it all happen for me. And I'm going to tell you, I keep notes in here. I keep notes on my iPad. I keep notes on my computer. But this is something I just touch. I can feel that writing. I can feel that progression. And then I transfer it over. Um, if I know I'm going to be out all day, I'll take a picture of it. Really keeping track. Um, so, when you are on focus and you feel like you just can't do it anymore, my best advice is to do a very simple, basic plan. Six items you're going to do in the day. Check them off as you do them. Get a planner. It doesn't have to be this planner, but this planner is nice. I like it. So, get a planner put it down, it'll help. So hard to plan when you're depressed, so hard to plan when you have anxiety. So hard, so hard, I know, I know, I know. Chop wood, my friend, carry water. Get it done slowly, slowly, slowly. It's how I've written grants, it's how I've started programs. You know, it's always hard when you deal with mental health and having to move forward. Chop wood, carry water, get the basics done, and then just the basic planning. Don't have to make it fancy. Don't have to have a lot of color pens. Don't have to do what Boho Berry does. But if you want to, check out her channel because it's great. She has all these pictures. She's very artistic. She spends time at it. She's pretty quick at it. But anyway, check this out. I think you're going to really like it. And it really does help. Okay, talk to you later.